Hello, my name is Sunil and I am your instructor for the duration of this video. This is part 1 of how to FTP server series. In this video we will see how to install and configure VSFTPD on Red Hat Enterprise Linux version 5. So let's check if VSFTPD is being installed on our system or not. For that we will open terminal. We will query. This is package VSFTPD is not being installed. So now we need to install VSFTPD package. I have already inserted a media, the DVD in my uh, DVD ROM. Let's check CD slash media. This is the directory in my media where all packages are available. We will cd into this directory rpm install for boss print hash. This is the package we need to install. Using rpm command, we can install this package. The package is successfully installed. Let's query again. Now the system shows that yes, VSFTPD is being installed on our system. Let's query to see the contents of VSFTPD package these are the contents these are the configuration files that are being used by VSFTPD daemon and this is the binary in user has been VSFTPD. So these are all the files which are available, which are installed with VSFTPD package. So before proceeding further, we will take a note on few things. VSFTPD stands for very secured. FTP server. The daemon is in user as bin VSFTPD. The script file is in etc init d slash VSFTPD. The ports used are 20 for FTP data and port 21 for FTP program. The log file is stored in slash where slash log slash xfer log. The configuration files are in etc vsftpd vsftpd.conf. This is the main configuration file. There are two more configuration files slash etc slash vsftpd slash ftp users and user underscore list. The users mentioned in ftpd user users are always denied access. The users mentioned in user underscore list are either allowed or denied access depending upon certain settings. So, what these settings are actually? I have already mentioned that this file is the main configuration file. The users mentioned in this file are always denied access and the users mentioned in this file are either allowed or denied access depending upon certain settings. There are two variables user list underscore enable and user list underscore deny. These two variables are defined in etc vsftpd slash vsftpd dot con file.
if user list underscore enable is equal to yes this is the default setting the variable user list underscore deny is examined this variable both these variables are in vsftpt.com file if this variable is set to yes that is default by default this variable is set to yes user not present in user list and user not present in ftp users are allowed access this means any user we create will be able to ftp to our ftp server this is the default setting if this variable is set to no only user mentioned in user list are allowed to ftp and the default that is your users mentioned in ftp users users are always denied access so the user mentioned in user underscore list are allowed access only if they are not present in ftp users file if user list underscore enable is set to no user list underscore deny is not examined this particular variable is not examined thus all users not present in ftp are allowed access so let's first create a user user add sunil user add data user add i am creating three users password sunil password data here i have mentioned three commands separated by separated by semicolon so i have created three users named sunil data and vishesh first we will check if our vsftp daemon is running or not service the daemon is not running we will start our vsftp server we will mark our vsftp d to start automatically on the level 3 4 and 5 you can see we have marked our vsftp d daemon to run automatically on run level 3 4 and 